significantly at a time when the army is involved in a tense standoff against China and the Doklam Plateau near Sikkim. The vice chief of the army staff has been given powers to bypass the defense ministry and directly order arms, ammunition and spares to ensure the army is adequately stocked to fight an intense war for at least 30 days. Vishnu Shom has more this unprecedented move to cut red tape. In a major move to cut through red tape in the Defence Ministry, the Army's Vice Chief has been given full financial powers to ensure that the Army is stocked with enough ammunition to fight short, intense wars. While the government did clear the emergency procurement of weaponry worth 20,000 crores after the Uri attack, the Army Vice Chief has now been allowed to carry on with the process without having to go through the Defence Ministry, which is very time-consuming. The Army has identified 46 different types of ammunition and spares for 10 weapon systems which it needs to acquire on an urgent basis. Deals worth 12,000 crores have already been signed. The weaponry is mainly shells and missiles for tanks and rockets for field artillery. Now, before this emergency procurement was allowed, the Army had less than one-third of what is known as the War Wastage Reserve. That's the minimum stockpile which India needs to have maintained to allow for 30 days of intense fighting.